So today I'm gonna to have a meal at Sir William's Seafood Restaurant, which is on the Diani Road. Nice little spot. It's not on the beach or anything, but it is on Diani Road. Okay, so this is Sir William himself, and he's cooking my red snapper. And what's going to Yeah, snapper calamari. And he's knocking up some snapper and some calamari, and all fresh caught this morning. Sure. So how many years have you been here, Sir William? Three years. Three years, and you love cooking? I you love, love food? cooking, I love grilling, I love seafood also. Okay, so the people can come here, they can have all kinds of seafood, sure. good price as well, and Sir William will look after you. Thank so you. fantastic. Thank you, Thank Sir you. William. So we have it straight from the horse's mouth. Sir William himself. I don't know if Sir William's his real name, but um, that's what he calls his restaurant. That's what he calls himself. So fair play, innit? I'm going to check this out and try this, and I'll give you my unbiased opinion at the end. Sir William's Seafood Restaurant. So, seafood on the coast. So I've got some chips with it, some calamari and red snapper, some limes and a bit of uh, tamarind sauce yeah it's like a fish fish curry sauce absolutely amazing got this red snapper beautiful a bit of lemon juice with it i'm also going to put a little bit of this like curry sauce sort of thing on it chuck a chip on for good measure a bit of salad You can taste fish is fresh, caught this morning, um, cooked to perfection on the barbecue, all the flavour of the barbecue coming through there. Um, salad, lovely salad, chips. Don't get very basic, but that's how fish should be. I think you know if people play around with it too much, you can actually spoil it and take away the flavour of the fish. So yeah, this is just perfect, exactly how I like it. And uh, yeah, so William's little seafood restaurant on the Diani Road. I'm going to finish eating my meal and give you my unbiased, unbiased, and uh, my unbiased opinion and review on what I thought of it. So, so William's little seafood shack. Uh, before I get thousands of comments asking me if Sir William's his real name, I don't really know. But it's quite possible that it is because they've all got weird and wonderful names around here like Precious, Treasure, um, Creation. Yeah, the list goes on. I actually met one girl called Souvenir and I said to her, I said, why do they call you Souvenir? She said, because people like to take me home. I'll let you decipher that one. Anyway, back to the job at hand. Um, yeah, so William's Little Seafood Shack. I mean, do you know what? I'm not gonna go. I'm not gonna do a big review on this, and I'm not going to give it a marking out of ten either, because these are simple people. You know, they make use of what they've got and uh, try and survive the best they can. They don't have much money, and it's so nice to help these little businesses, these little restaurants as well, um, to survive. Yes, it's all very nice going to these posh hotels and eating posh food, but these little restaurants. It's so nice to have them about and it would be a shame if they disappeared so you know go and go and visit them a little bit and help them out a little bit food's good and it cost me 1200 shillings which is about eight pound eight pound for you know i had a whole snapper fresh snapper some salad chips and a big bottle of beer for that so you can't really complain um if you do visit uh, sir williams by the way and don't tell him i told you but 
ask him who his father oh, ask him who his father is I think you'll be very pleasantly surprised uh, yeah this is chef's travels I'm Kevin Harrington thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you on the next one cheers